Uh, thank you, everyone. My name is Peter Amstutz. I'm uh, the project leader for the Arvados Project. Um, I've pre <clears throat> presented this at BOSC before, so what I'm going to do today is just talk a little bit about uh, what Arvados is and kind of what we've been working on the last couple of years. So quick summary about Arvados. It is a workflow engine and data management platform for running common workflow language workflows. Um, it's a full stack. We have there's a web interface for monitoring workflow execution. Uh, it scales out to HPC and cloud. Um, it manages storage, uh, cloud buckets, uh, different kinds of things like that. And the emphasis of Arvados is on capturing capturing provenance, so that when you have everything that you have run through the system, you have full records of every step that was run what the inputs are, what the outputs, uh, inputs and outputs were, what containers were used, all of those things. So it's very easy to go back and reconstruct what happened or even rerun something even with just a single, uh, you know, a couple of mouse clicks. And so you use this. This is used in production uh, for almost a decade now, running, you know, all kinds of production uh, bioinformatics workflows, you know, RNA-seq, WGS. Um, and since it's bioinformatics, Open Source Conference, it's GPL and Apache. So some of the big things that we've been working on recently, we've completely replaced the user interface with a new React-based uh, web workbench. Uh, it's really cool, it's fast, it's really great to use. Um, we have also been working on scaling up, so handling really large batches for uh, some of the um, some of our users, we can now manage up to 6,000 cloud compute instances. So that's not 6,000 cores, that is 6,000 compute instances on AWS, uh, 3,000 users, and you know, 10 terab 10,000 terabytes or like 10 petabytes of data. So like this is industrial scale. Um, we have been working on improving installation. It is uh, a microservice system it is a bit difficult, but we have a fully automated installer, so you can install it in under an hour and um, supports uh, things like GPU instances, so you can run machine learning workflows and we're working on uh, supporting LLMs. Um, some nice user features that are coming up. We produce uh, reports automatically uh, for every tool that runs through the system. You get a graph of its resource usage, which is really great for cost op optimization, runtime optimization, uh, looking at how much um, you know, memory was used to see like, oh, sometimes it's really helpful for debugging if something was using more or less CPU or RAM than you expected. Uh, so you get this automatically with every run. Uh, we have a feature now that you can actually log into a running shell session, even on a remote compute instance in the cloud in a private network. You can log into the container and debug it on the fly. Uh, as I said, we support common workflow language. Um, CWL 1.2.1 came out this year, so um, we support that. We include we, uh feature we have now is getting cost estimates. Um, so including spot prices, which is very useful. And uh, we've also been working on our documentation. Um, some of the things that we're looking at kind of uh, in the next like future development is that Arvados is like a very large scale system, but we're actually looking at, we think that these features really would have a lot of value to users at the individual desktop level because the emphasis on Arvados is in recording every single thing that you do so that you can go back and reconstruct the sequence of analysis. And so we would like to take this you know, system and scale it down enough that you could reasonably run it on a laptop or a small server in a lab and still get the benefits of really, like, really extensive provenance capture. Um, we want to make that, part of that is making installation even easier. Uh, there's a few things that still require CLI tools. We'd like to make it 100% web-based. Um, and we're also starting to think about creating resources that when you have Arvados, you're able to um, get workflows and public data and easily click, uh, import it into your own instance for experimentation. And that's it. Uh, and if you're interested in trying it, we've got an online public demo or uh, installation documentation. And please give it a shot. Thank you.